tutorial, we're going to see one of the improvements made to the web list box control starting with Zojo 2022 Release 4. In previous releases, the web list box control only displayed a gray box when it was added to the layout editor, so it was difficult to get an idea about how the real data would look when the solution was run on a web browser. In fact, we can see here that we have column width set, the header, and also some initial data to feed to the web list box. Nothing of this is previewed in the layout editor. Now, starting with Zojo 2022 Release 4, the web list box control has been improved, so it displays a more close preview of its state when it's added to the layout editor. For example, we can see the headers, the column widths, and also the initial data for every column and row if there is any. This way, you'll get a more uh, real idea about how the control and the data it displays will look once the app is run on a web browser. And if there's no initial data for the control, then it will just display the column numbers and a no data message as you would expect. This is something that also mimics the behavior of the control when it's used in desktop apps. Additionally, the control preview also adapts itself to the changes made in the layout editor. So resizing it, changing the number of columns, etc. In summary, starting with this release, you will have a more detailed and informative preview of the web list box control that will help you to make better decisions when deciding the design of your web pages in your Zojo web projects.